without lands, it's still hard to tell like who the real like GOAT teams are. As people are playing still online Dota, it's still hard to say who's like godly at the game. I think that's what TIs and I think that's what majors really bring out. Playing under pressure, but not really just like playing there when, when it really matters. Right, so the very first major of the DPC season is right around the corner. And North America has not played any international competition in well over a year's time. We don't know what to expect. Evil Geniuses have not played since March of 2020 in Dota Summit 12. But honestly, they haven't been really tested since January 2020 when they were in Dream League Season 13 and were going against Secret in that five game grand finals. On the other side, we have Quincy Crew. These guys have not been to an international LAN since October of 2019. So it's been a while for NA to be put to the test and we want to know how do they match up? I'd say most regions perceive NA as, for lack of a better word, trash. I don't really understand why NA gets so much hate either, because no, nobody says NA is good. NA is like a very small region. You just gotta admit to it. I mean, other regions definitely think that we're just really bad and we're doing all this clowny stuff. You know, that that is what it is. I think NA Dota is definitely different stylistically. So yeah, there's a stigma out there and a lot of memes about how North America is not that good. But I think it's gonna be about how we can prove that we are good and that we can compete. EG is the top team, you know, they nothing to mess around with. They draft sort of like it's TI, where they have their same heroes and they like have this first phase and they say, you have to compete this stuff, you know? We have these heroes, you have to pick one and you have to beat it. They're very good in the strategy end. They are very good at what they do. And that one ended in a flash. EG celebrating in the boot. Oh. There's going to be a lot of new stuff coming from EG for this season that people are not going to be ready for. It's definitely a different team than it used to be. We're kind of all in, you know? He's a good guy, you know, he's funny. He's also professional, you know, he, he's just a mix of everything. Moon now jumping in, oh, gonna get the game. Oh, oh, and you jump! Are yeah. you kidding me? Ice, 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 the abyssal blade to break the black hole. What a savior! Ice, ice, ice changes the team a lot because he's a very versatile player. Uh, he's also very experienced, so like he brings a lot of uncertainty for other teams. Not gonna be in time. Daryl is a very different type of player. Like I don't think any of us have really played with a player like him before. So he just brings a lot of different ideas and energy that just makes it something new for us. If it comes down to farming and lane dominance. Most would agree we have one of the best that can do it. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to say Arteezy. They're Arteezy. The answer is Artor. Arteezy is probably the strongest carry in NA. All these years later, it's really cool to still be playing against him. Arteezy, doppelganger. Can he juke this one? He sends the illusion away. They roll the illusion. Arteezy has just juked the hell out of them. Fly on the other He's turning. Side. Arteezy's back in. Oh, but damage in the jump on the deuce. And now in trouble. Now dead. No buyback for Dusa, and look at that Alchemist run on in. Triple kill for our fourth. Dude, that flicker was sick. Arteezy takes the ulti to the face. Is he gonna go down? He's barely living. Arteezy tries to make it work, and he does. I feel Dota is at such a high kind of like skill level that it's hard for someone just to like rise above everyone else. It feels that way when I watch people play. While EG earned the right to play from the playoffs, Back in the group stage, we have Quincy Crew, who are going to be playing in this ridiculous gauntlet of competition, and they have to do it without their position for MSS. I mean, Quincy just play a very stable Dota game. Every game, they're very consistent. I truly believe that Quincy Crew is the top six team in the world stage. I truly believe that. I would say that we're, our play style is pretty aggressive. We try to win the game as fast as possible. I don't know, we're just trying to stomp people, and we're trying to inch our way closer and closer to stomping every game. Quinn is going to do Quinn things every game. He's like the rock, right? He's going to pick a spirit, win his lane, and go from there. Huge hit of Malice, but Sammy... We've gotten better. I know I've gotten better as a player. I think we've gotten better as a team. Avalanche toss. <laughs> oh, no! It only increases your confidence, I think, when you beat these people. This was just surgical. So clean. Towards but war destroys them. Five dead. GG called. We knew it was coming. Quincy yeah. crew, just no mercy. People say, oh, they're good, but they're not as good as CC and C's. Quinn is one of the most dominant mid laners in the game. And that's really what NA is all about, dominating their lanes. In NA, people are not trying to not lose lanes, they're trying to destroy lanes. The region cares about like building strong lanes and stuff. So they'll like heroes that are good at laning. People just like naturally will gravitate towards 
the best teams are always the one that go into the tournament with their style of Dota and they play that style all the way through. And it, you know, they're the team that everyone is responding to. I think right now each region is actually really self-isolated and plays their own thing. People haven't played across regions in so long and people get stuck in these mini meta vacuums where it's just a bunch of teams who've played each other a lot, especially for NA. You know, and that's why we're so excited. All of these regions have had their own idea of the meta and we only know what NA has been really good at. So how good is it going to be when we go to the international? And it's exciting for me to see when our teams go to Europe and we play versus Europe, what happens because I think this stuff is really powerful. These spirit heroes are super powerful right now. and they... it, it, It's just, it's very enjoyable uh, to play right now. I really hope they win the major the Singapore easy wins, you know, just so we get three slots and show the world, hey, NA is not so bad. So we're waiting to find out, can North America's playstyle be enough to get them that title again? Can we break this reputation that North America just can't compete?